Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ukir tribe, where as far as the eye can see, all of the children of our tribe more or less appear to be maned males. So we're in a little bit of a pinch of trouble, you guys. We finally, finally, finally managed to isolate the armored body genetics that we were really going for. We have very well defended creatures who even have started to delight our hearts by being able to pull out a beautiful armored tail behind them, such as Kudos and his sister Miana Ana over here and we even have another armored body arm or hammer tailed creature with little Aethys down here and Bozai over here and yet we're running into a bit of a problem all of the armored body adventurers that we sent on searching for the snowy lands from the last island are actually getting too old to continue on so we've been having them have lots and lots of babies and the end result has been fantastic except for the fact that they're almost all boys we currently only have two little girls two little girls and all of our queens are about to die of old age we've got one little girl over here with miana Anna, and we have one girl over here with corina who doesn't have the full armored tail or hammer tail excuse me but she does happen to have it inactive at least so she could still throw an armor tailed baby and holy moly is she ever beautiful Wow, I love her appearance. I love her look. She's got these gorgeous stripes and these blue eyes. I think it's the blue eyes that really draw me to her since they are so rare in our tribe. Uh, but we only have her and Miana Ana, and then we have Is Ana over here who is a very wonderful creature, except for the fact that she doesn't have the hammer tail recessive at all. She just has a beautiful medium tail, and she also has webbed hind legs, which we have been trying to wiggle out of our gene pool for a while now. We have it in our mutation menu, but unfortunately she did manage to inherit them. However, she might get to have lots and lots of children just from the fact that she is one of our only females left. We also have Lysila <laughs> over here, and and we've got Pippa over here and we have Priyana, our beautiful Priyana, who is about to pass away. So even though we've been having so many babies and we've had quite the baby boom on this flower island, we're probably going to have to continue on with the baby boom. And once we're done, maybe this next generation, we will go ahead and we will pick a whole bunch of them to take on to the next island. And some of you guys are insisting on going to the flower port in order to search out the new lands. Some of you are saying if we head up over here, we have the best shot of hitting the snow biomes that we're truly trying to search out. And some of you guys are saying if we go over to the jungle, we will have a chance at reaching the snow biomes. And I think what we're gonna do, I'm a little worried because it would take us a very long time to get there. But I think what we're going to do is we are actually going to shoot for this port right over here and I'm I'm just feeling like the breeze from across the ocean here is a little bit cooler than the other areas and maybe just maybe it would lead us on to a beautiful snowy land so what we may do is we'll have all of our little rambunctious baby boys start bouncing their ways <laughs> their way over here and clearing away the grasses kind of the way we did on the old island where the creatures of the Yukir tribe are sort of like buffalo locusts where they go through and and they clear out all of the resources on the islands that they stay on and they don't really have anything to fear i mean why would we be nervous about sending our children out there's no birds on this island and they're armored bodied babies so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start sending all of our little ones exploring up this direction and hopefully by their generation when they're adults we'll be able to send them on to the next island we don't want to dwell on each island for any longer than we must so let's see we've already got little obi over here being quite the good little explorer um, I'll have Isana join him so she can kind of start getting a head start on the exploring. And the only rule is that you have to leave a little bit of a path behind you. In fact, that's probably like the mother's rule because look at how crowded their nursery is. They're probably relieved to get some of the babies like out from under their paws and exploring around the place, especially because all of our females are armored body. So even though we have a couple not armored bodied babies, I feel like they'd be really confident in the way that the armored body you care creatures are not as protective of their children as they probably should be and just like oh yeah go on go on shoo go play in the grasses i mean what could happen to you one of those stinky dog predators tries to chew on you they wouldn't even consider him a predator because he can't even bite them so i think it's going to be just fine all right we're going to have little bozai start staggering that way and kudos as well 
And then we will have, I think, Miana Ana and Karina might bond a little bit over this nut tree. So I think that these two actually want to stay and crack open the nuts. And little Quintus will start wandering that way too. We've got Taro who can start wiggling that way. He might splash in the water for a moment. And Aethys might try to follow his brother. Jolix, wow, Jolix can move it, look at that. So he's going to head out there too. So we have all of our babies and the girls will probably join them pretty soon, starting to roam away and search through the grasses just because, you know, they're, they're out from under paw that way. And this particular tribe is very carefree with their children, <laughs> probably too much so. All right, so now that we've done that, let's grab our last females that we have. Pippa is definitely going to have more babies. Let's pop over here. She is definitely going to have more children with Taduk because they have been having amazing children. Gano is their first child that they've had that has not ended up with armor body or hammer tail. So it was a little bit of a surprise. I think they actually have, yeah, Quintus I think was theirs too, maybe? Who knows? Nobody knows anymore. That's how many children there are. Everyone just knows there's a bazillion babies and that's about it. All right, and Karina, who is your parent? Because I kind of want to like risk that again. Taduk was? All right, so we're going to pop over here and then Taduk is going to jump over here respectfully on top of the bones. Oh boy, failed mating. There we go. And that mating took. And this is going to be Priyana's last child, which I'm very sad about, actually. And then Lucila needs to have one more child. She happens to have that recessive hammer tail. Um, or I should say inactive, not recessive, because we had a little bit of a kerfuffle all about that. And Lucila can have a baby. We'll get her down here. Oh, oh no. And she wasn't able to get pregnant with Taduk. Darn it. All right. Well, let's see. What should I do with Zakai or Zavai? Zavai I've been keeping with us and like he would be good for the genetics, but it just doesn't seem like we need his genes at this exact moment. All right, so, oh man, this is always a hard moment when I have to say goodbye to a female we really like. But we're gonna go ahead and let Priyana have her last child and Pipa, ah, uh, there she goes. I think that she's going to eat berries. They're all hoping for girls. And so, I, cause we needed more girls. So I think they're hoping if they stuff themselves on berries, maybe they'll have little girls. I'm not sure exactly how that lore would work out, but it seems appropriate, you know? I know a lot of people who, when they really want to have a girl or a boy, they get into all of this idea of, if I eat certain foods, then I'll have a child who, like, will be hopefully born this sex, but that's not even going to determine everything for the rest of their life with their gender. So I think it's kind of silly, but at least in this game, it's going to definitely help us out, because we're, we're going to have our whole tribe die if we don't end up with more females are these females related in any way immune wise no they aren't <gasps> that may help us out too all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna have a couple babies priyana goodbye oh priyana i'm gonna miss you but she managed to have one last child with a little kook here so thankfully he's got very low immunity unfortunately but he is a pretty healthy little guy. Good hind legs, good eyesight, and he's got an active hammer tail and the classic yellow eyes. So not as quite as stunning as his sister Karina, uh, but definitely will do. And then we have a girl! Thank goodness, a little girl! Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved. We're gonna name her Wink, which is one of the names that you guys have suggested. I absolutely love the name list you guys have been providing me. It's so much fun to work with. And little Wink, she is really healthy. High fertility, H and K immunity. Oh my gosh, Wink. Holy days. Those are some very rare genes that she's playing with there. And she has antlers. Guys, when did we start getting antlers? When did those start wiggling in? Who brought in the antlers? Was it, was it Taurus? And Rookie? Okay, so Taurus and Rookie. I was so used to seeing all of the like black ram horns. Suddenly I looked down and I'm like, where did these antlers come from? Well, that's a really fun touch on the family tree. It's going to be fun to see who ends up with what, uh, what ram horn or antlers as time goes on. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do now? Priyana definitely needs to have another child. All right, all of the kids need to get out of the way. <laughs> Children, go play in the grasses. And I mean, it's not like we have to worry about you getting eaten by anything. All right, Azana can jump up here. She can kind of be like given nursery duty that way. All right, and all the babies are getting really excited and starting to explore that direction. 
Uh, let's see. Bullseye. Let's have you wiggle up here. Can you get anything? He can dig there. Nice. Actually, having the digger paw is quite a useful little trait. I think Karina is still excited about all of these little nuts. And the Ana Ana, you could go ahead and destroy that nest because it's just getting old. Sora is coming over to see what Karina is up to. Aethys, Aethys, would you be a good mate for Karina? No. But Aethys and Miana Anna could have babies! You guys! And they would be fully armored body and hammer tailed! <gasps> dun dun dun! So at least we've accomplished something with our armored adventurers, even if it's not what we thought it would be. Uh, let's see, and we'll have little Mako scooch over, and little Gano scooch over, and then we'll have Lucila. Come on, Lucila. We'll jump her up into the nest. Come on, Lucila. There we go. And she managed to get pregnant finally. Tadu can recollect those nest resources. I think because this is such a nomadic tribe, they probably do not enjoy staying in a nest if it started to deteriorate. They probably consider it an inferior nest and they don't want to have anything to do with it. So we'll start taking apart. Oh! Unless it's a permanent nest. If it's a permanent nest, I could see the Yukir tribe going, oh, this is perfect. But if it happens to be like a nest that's falling apart, I can imagine they would just get rid of it because they would see it as inferior and dirty. And why would you stay in a place that's starting to get kind of dirty? They don't need to. They're the Yukir tribe. They're very nomadic. They're going to just keep moving on. But all right, we have a lot of nesting material now, thank goodness. And let's go ahead and we are going to have uh, some more babies. And actually the nesting material is a really good thing. Maybe that shows that they learned something from what happened a couple of generations ago when we left the snow island, the hard snow island, and went to what was supposed to be a land of abundance and almost had our tribe die out because we didn't have enough nest. So maybe they finally learned that lesson and that's the reason, even though they may not remember, that's the reason they don't dwell on old nest and they just take them apart and keep moving on and gather up all the grasses. All right, so we're gonna have a couple more babies. Oh, it's boys again. Oh dear. Oh me, oh my. Kuvanta, okay. All right, and Nutak, uh, Nutaku. So unfortunately, neither of them are armored body, but Nutaku is actually full hammer tail. So we're gonna name him, let's see, Zomir is actually a name you guys have come up with. So let me give that one, Zomir. There we go. And then another one is Hawthorn. That's actually a really interesting one. Hawthorn, there we go, with an E on the end. So I love all these names you guys have come up with. Oh, I just can't get over that. All right, let's see. And actually we're going through them at a pretty quick rate. I'm surprised. All right, so we've got a couple more babies now and a whole bunch of nests that are kind of falling apart and a very eager Zavai who is kind of wiggling his eyebrows like, hey, hey, there's a nice nest over here. What do you guys think about this? Maybe he's waving his tail like enticingly, like, what do you think ladies? Uh, this nest look pretty good over here. Does he actually have anybody he could mate with? Oh, Peepa, no! Peepa and Lucila, it's their last day alive. Why? Why? What cruel world is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be bad. We are almost entirely a tribe of infants all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. All right. We might have to have Izana start having some babies. Izana, can you have children with... But she doesn't really have any of the traits we're going for. Ah! Except maybe kudos... But they might have an unhealthy child with immunity H, but maybe it's better than nothing? Uh, okay, we're gonna try that. Okay, so she's pregnant, and we'll have her jump into that permanent nest. And Kudos just came of age, so he's going to be a father, and we'll see what his genetics are going to be. Uh, oh, there's a little mole. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh, and another permanent nest. Whoa, look at the whole group explore over here together like this. This is so cool. And Obi grew up too. Oh, I guess she and Obi could have had children, but he has um, hammer tail. Kudos has full hammer tail, so. And Kudos actually is going to be a great mate for, was it Miana Anna? No. Was it Wink? No. Somebody was going to be a good mate. Was it Aethys? Oh yeah, Aethys and Miana Anna, I think. Are they both full armor body, full hammer tail? They sure are. Oh my gosh, they've got to get the, the blue gemstones of those genes are what I've been aiming for. There we go. And we'll start assigning the gemstones to more of the creatures. Uh, Miana Ana, I think, is still kind of obsessed with just gathering up these uh, these nuts, because why not? And Aethys can start jumping and doing some exploring. Koriana is probably still obsessed with the nuts, too. Bozai 
is another one of our perfect jeans that we've been working towards. But I love this idea that it's just like this rowdy group of young creatures that's kind of like barreling into the wilderness. And even the ones who don't have armored body probably will just go and kind of join the group because they don't know any better. We've never had to worry about losing any of our children to predators. So they're very, very bold little ones. All right, so Pipa is about to pass away. Very worried about that. Let's get little Mako out of the way here. I think he is going to nibble on some of that food. And then we're going to move Taduk up here. We're going to scooch Pipa in here and get her pregnant and have her repair that nest. And then this is Lucila's last day too. So we're going to have her jump down here and we're going to get her pregnant, have her build a nest, destroy the old nest. There we go. Oh my, this is going to be so hard. Oh, and little Wink, you're so cute. And this is going to be so hard because we're going to lose like our only two really good females left for breeding they've they've aged up they've aged out it's time oh gosh all right well let's go ahead and see what their last two children are going to be if it's both boys then we're really in a bit of a pickle and that'll be interesting but we'll see if we can make it all the way over to the next island or if we'll have to have one more generation just out of desperation so all right Come on, baby boys. There's so many boys. Look at all these manes. There's so many boys as far as the eye can see. <laughs> we need little girls or else our, our gene pool might die. We have a duckbill. Two boys. Oh my gosh. What are the odds of this? How many children have we had and they're all boys? <laughs> Miana, Anna, you might have to have children sooner than we thought. All right, guys. Well, welcome. Little... Uh, Kina Vuno, which is one of the names you guys have suggested, and we're going to welcome in this very interesting little baby Paz. I think Paz sounds like a good name for somebody born unexpectedly mutated in that duckbill again. So he also does not have armored body. Uh, Kuvanu does and has recessive ha or inactive hammer tail. Definitely better than nothing. And let's see. Yeah, I think things are going to get very interesting from here on out. Um, Karina, we're going to have to start working on breeding. Uh, the, if for the two nest mothers we just lost, we at least have more nest mothers now. But how many females do we have? We have four females in a tribe of 21. We have only four females. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. This is going to get way too interesting. Alrighty then. Um... Let's see. Let's go ahead. We're going to get this bunny. And then I think I'm going to have Is Anna actually just go ahead and move like up here if she can. Let's get all these guys out of the way. Taro, scooch it. Oh, there's a mole. There's a mole. We weren't able to get the mole. And then let's get you over here, my little friend. And you can gather up some of those berries. Can she get into this nest? She sure can. All right. So Is Anna is going to settle into this nest. And everybody is just very excitedly exploring up here. We're going to get Kudos up here as well. He can kind of clear the way as we go. And Zivai is going to be a little discouraged. She's like, but I just found this nest and was trying to show you guys. All right, Aethys, we can clear that away. And then Sora can help out. We'll nibble here. Uh, let's see. And there is a nice little berry bush. I feel like maybe the babies would kind of descend like little baby locusts. <laughs> and then following the locust theme on top of berry bushes and just eat all of them. And then Taduk over here, I think he kind of feel like he had to stick around and take care of the nursery because what a little nursery we've r nursery we've got going with all of these babies. And let's see, we'll have little Mako start exploring. Dash away and start doing his explorations. Miana Ana, let's see, we'll have her and Koriana start moving out soon too. Zomir, I'm tempted, we may start picking creatures like Hawthorne. I think Hawthorne, because he has webbed legs, he does not have armored body, and because he uh, only has, like, inactive hammer tail, I think he's about to become obsessed with this tree. 
he may be one of our new creatures who's going to be obsessed with this tree and not want to move. And I think little Paz might stay with his brother and uh, they might stay in this area, do a bunch of the like searching along here for the food since Paz has the, um, oh, what do you call it again? Feeding from the bottom. So Paz might feed from the bottom of these tide pools and Hawthorne might stick around and really fall in love with this tree. Zomir is probably going to keep moving on. Wink has to move on because she is one of four females. <laughs> and we're going to keep everyone moving. And all of a sudden, Izana is going to be very, very, very popular because we desperately need to have more females. So let's go ahead and see if she's going to give birth to some females. Let's make sure what we have in the mutation menu. Yeah, those are the traits I really want to focus on right now. It's a boy! Imagine that! Oh dear! So Tukara, uh, or excuse me, that's listed as a female name. So we'll go with um, uh, Vashti. Yeah, we'll go ahead uh, and go with Vashti. And uh, yeah, he's just been, he's a, he's a boy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're increasingly in trouble here. We only have four females. We have a tribe of 22 and somehow we only have four females. Oh my gosh. How are we going to make this work? This is getting pretty darn interesting. I've got it. I think our females might have to breed. I think we may just have to like focus on breeding up instead of reaching the new lands. This is getting intense. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh my. All right, Hawthorne, you're going to stay over here. Whew. And I think, unfortunately, I'm so sorry, Coriana and Corine, Corina and Mianana. I think they're going to have to stay on this island and have babies just to make sure that they can have the children to send to the next island so that that's looking like what it, it needs to happen because we don't have enough females guys but all right we're gonna have all of our curious little boys actually continue onward and they're going to march forward and wiggle their way towards this area so maybe we'll have all of our, our extra males start clearing out the path and searching for permanent nest and gathering up all sorts of resources and i think that we're going to have miana anna and corina search out the just right mates to be able to keep the strong prehistoric genes going and also to keep some very healthy immunity genes flowing. And uh, we're going to have some more babies because we're very low on babies. I cannot believe that we only have four females with 22 creatures. Um, this isn't good. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>